What's up, Scott Balkan here with Imagination Creation Films, and today, well, we're talking about this, the Kessler Cine Shooter Expandable Multi-Axis Heavy Lift Very Fast Motion Controlled Cinema, well, let's just call it a robot. So unless you've been ignoring my social media for the past year, you may have seen me putting this little machine to the test. And if you don't know what it is or what it can do, well, the best way is just to simply show you. Out of the bed, I got good views on my brain. Sun shining on my face, but singing out my name. Got breath in this soul, I'm kicked drum on the beat. This world's colorful, like a purple tangerine. Can't bring me down, can't bring me down, no, not today. Can't bring me down, everything's going my way. Top of the world, you see, see everything. Daytime, a color swirl, not like a diamond ring. I got feelings in these bones, they know a trick or two. So put down your little phone, I'm calling out to you. Can't bring me down, can't bring me down, no, not today. Can't bring me down, everything's going my way. Yeah, if Long as I got breath in my lungs, when the day is done, I'm gonna be happy. Long as I got breath in my lungs, when the day is done, I'm gonna be happy. Long as I got breath in my lungs, when the day is done, I'm gonna be happy. Long as I got breath in my lungs, I'm happy. It feels too good, like a picture perfect day. So bright, so righteous, hug your mind. This is the Kessler Cine Shooter. It's an expandable, flexible, fast, extremely capable motion control robot that will really take your productions to the next level. Now, before we dive in, I want to take a moment to ask that you go ahead and click subscribe to this channel so you can be a part of a great community of filmmakers just like yourself. Now, full disclosure, Kessler did send this product to me, but this is where it gets fun. It wasn't sent to me for review, it was sent to me to help test. I have been beta testing this device for a long, long time. I've been providing feedback and suggestions the entire time. Kessler is not paying me for this review and they do not get to see it or approve it in any way. This is 100% an honest review. I have been paid by Kessler in the past to make tutorial videos for their website and social media, but I separate that completely from my channel. On my channel, I am the sole opinion, approval, feedback, and creator for anything on here. I never allow any company or person to 
ever tell me what I can, should, or would say, with the exception of my wife, who will usually wait until I've recorded the entire video before telling me I had crap on my shirt. So let's dive in. The Kessler Cine Shooter is an expandable camera robot that can do much more than it was really designed to do. The limits are honestly mostly in your head, not on the Cine Shooter itself. Now let's run down some of the many features. Now the Kessler nodal head is, well, the design is certainly not new. It actually can be traced all the way back to 20 AD, where painters have been using a form of it to create panoramic paintings. It's been constantly improved over the years, and now each manufacturer makes a version of it, And but it essentially allows the sensor plane, which is right here, it allows it to stay in one position and, and remain in the exact same position while panning, tilting, and rolling. Um, and this allows the movement to be near perfect without any parallax artifact errors. Now, this is really important when using it for VFX work, but you know, it also is really nice for normal shooting. The Cine Shooter nodal head is adjustable to match most camera systems. You just loosen the slide bracket right here, and you can move it up and down, just getting it right in line. Right in the middle here is an actual marker which tells you where the nodal point is of the camera. So uh, I'm using it with a quick release here, but it's, it's mounted right in the middle. It's very easy to uh, adjust. Now there are five axes of control right out of the box. You get a two axis head that can pan at a speed of 64.5 revolutions per minute or 387 degrees per second and it can tilt at a speed of 29.2 revolutions per minute, or 175.2 degrees per second. I, uh, yeah, I, I had the Kessler engineering team calculate those for me because, well, it sounds a lot better than it is fast. <laughs> it can do this while holding a lot of weight, and well, we'll get into that in just a second. Now, it includes three other ports. They're right here. Uh, and those can power additional access like a slider or a second slider or to just keep everything neat and tidy just use those three for focused iris and zoom control just add the motors this is a fizz motor you can plug it directly in right there and this will do focus iris or zoom or if you have three of them it will do all three now but scott if we use those three ports, how would we ever control the slider? I'm so glad I asked that. They're making a wireless backpack that has two additional axes. So you can mount it on your slider motor and you no longer need to worry about cables getting in the way or even connecting right up here. You can add up to two of these for an additional four axis on the already five. That is nine axis of a system. This is honestly going to be huge, and I really can't wait for the backpacks. It's coming, it really is. Multi-axis is my bread and butter. It's where I live most of my motion control life, and nine axis is insanely good. I mean, yeah. A Sydney shooter can run fast or slow, or even time-lapse, stop-motion animation, or any combination in between. So you, you can even mix time-lapse with live motion and get a repeatability that's incredible with an effect that's second to none. Now, programming Sydney shooter can be done in many different ways. On board, there is a simple two or three keyframe control that you could just program while using the onboard little joystick right here, or soon with a PlayStation or Xbox controller directly. They also have free motion control, which allows you to just simply point the camera where you want to record a keyframe. To do this, while in program mode, you just depress this little button right here, and uh, yeah, you just, Point the camera, okay, I want a keyframe right there, good. Or, hey, I'd like a keyframe over here, just point it over here, and boom. It's, uh, it's pretty simple, very easy to do. Uh, the free motion is an optional add-on, but it's, it's not that expensive. And uh, you can just save your keyframes just by clicking next keyframe, and then go to the next one. You can point it, move it, and save your next one. Or you can just use the joystick and move it all around. 
Now, the free motion function works with the Cine Shooter Head, the stock Kessler slider motor, and the Cine Drive 50 and 100 series motors with adapters. The stock slider motor is a bit of resistance due to the gearing on it, but it does work. Just you got to push on it a little bit. Uh, now, it doesn't work with the uh, the Fizz motors yet, but it might have limited support with a future update. Just stand by on that one. We'll, we'll see how that one comes to evolve. There is a free Cine Shooter remote app, and well, it's both for iOS and Android, and well, you know, this is it. It allows you to control your Cine Shooter with a little onboard joystick, and there's a slider right here, and it has an expanded 10 keyframes. It also has the ability to adjust curves, uh, there's time lapse, there is stop motion, and manual control. And you could connect a PlayStation controller or an Xbox controller to it right now to game the system, so to speak. Well, you can control it. And it's completely programmable with that remote as well. Now, chaos. That's where I usually live with this system, and quite frankly, with any other Kessler system. It is the Kessler Premier Control application, and it really allows you to take control of your motion control in ways other companies dream of. It's available on Mac OS, Windows, and iPad OS. Now, what does it do? Well, you can get 30 keyframes per axis, and you can control those curves on each and every keyframe very, very fine adjustments. It is a monster of an application. And well, there is a slight learning curve to it, but once you see how it's done, it's actually a piece of cake. And you know, it's what I use on all of my shoots with, with very few exceptions. Now, speaking of shoots, this Kessler system has been on many TV shows, commercials, and other shoots that I've worked on, and it really just shines. Clients are always happy with the results and especially the price that I can charge versus a uh, full-on robot. Mm -hmm. Now, to power it, you can use a V-mount or a gold mount. There's a, a plate right here. It's optional and you just install it and away you go. You can power it with the included power supply with a standard 2.5 millimeter barrel connection, or it has a locking Limo power connection. It's pretty versatile. Now there's a trigger port on the side so you can trigger cameras remotely with it as well. This works well for time-lapse and even the coming dragon frame support. Yep, they're not just stopping there. They're working on support for alpha wheels as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you if you know, you know, and you kind of want to know because they're really cool and very programmable too. Yeah, there, there are also plans for facial tracking and even an emulation mode where you can just use your iPhone and just point it to where you want the head to be. City Shooter is truly a versatile, expandable, powerful platform. Now, let's talk about weight and payload. The Cine Shooter itself weighs just under five and a half pounds you know, by itself. The base unit can handle 15 pounds of payload all day long. Now, they make a heavy duty support bracket, and this is part of it. There's actually replaces this, and then there's an extension arm that comes up on the side. That increases the payload to 25 pounds. That is a fully rigged cinema camera, when balanced appropriately, and it can not only handle it, it can run full speed as well. It can actually do a little more, but you know, companies have to, they have to set their limits, yeah. Now, the system is really fast. What do I mean by fast? Well, it can perform a three foot slide, a pan and a tilt with 25 pounds of payload in just over two seconds. Now, depending on how you program it with, with various curves, but yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's not up there with the KUKA robot, but it'll make you smile almost the same. And for about 1 50th of the cost, yeah, you'll, you'll smile a little bit bigger there. Now, expandability. Cine Shooter is compatible with all of their second shooter parts. So, second shooter motors, pan and tilt heads, it's expandable with all of that. It's even expandable with TLS, and it's expandable with even some of their Cinedrive parts with some adapters. 
Now, that means you can build monster rigs with many multiple axes and just create some amazing motion. Now, my Franken rig here is really versatile. I have an X and a Y slide axis. I have pan, tilt, roll, focus, iris, zoom, and even a vertical lift that, well, it takes a little bit of tweaking, but, but I did get it working. And you saw that on the video. That was my vertical lift going on there. The Kessler ecosystem just has a ton of flexibility to create the movements that you want. Now, I just showed the orbital camera build the other day, and well, City Shooter can absolutely do that too. When the 9-axis support is released with multiple wireless backpacks, oh yeah, you bet I'll be using the heck out of those. <laughs> now, the system when moving at normal cinematic speeds is pretty quiet. It's, it's not silent, but it won't be taking off the sound guy either. Now, if you open up the speed and perform really fast moves, yeah, it can get a little loud, but remember, it's slinging 25 pounds around really fast. As an idea of how fast it can move, those ball clock shots that were in the demo, uh, those were shot with the probe lens in real time with the Cine slider and the, the Cine shooter controlling all of that. Uh, that was real time. It can really move fast if you want it. Now, it mounts to your tripod or slider or really anything you want with a standard Arca Swiss connection. Now here, I'm just using the Kessler Quick Release because, well, frankly, I love it. Now, I personally love the Kessler Quick Release system and, and I use it everywhere on my Franken rig. It, it allows for really fast connections, expansions, and configurations on the fly. I mean, I could basically mount this this way, I could mount it that way, I could mount this here, I could add it to a city slider, I could add a city slider to the bottom of a shuttle dolly. I could do it all with these quick releases. They can handle a ton of weight. Okay, I don't think it's a ton, but it's, it's a lot. It, it can hold me, so. Let's, uh, let's talk about the pros and cons. Well, first with the cons, the joystick requires just a little too much force. Um, it can be a little frustrating with, with gloves. Uh, sometimes it will move up or down when you're trying to push it in. I believe this is because the, the stiff nature of that joystick button itself, but honestly, pull out your phone, uh, fingerless glove for the win here, uh, and just program your move with the app. I mean, that makes it a little easier. The display. Well, it's an LCD display. So, well, when it gets cold outside, it gets a little sluggish. It responds like 22-year-old me after a LAN party. Um, for those of you who don't know what a LAN party is, uh, back in my day, we would use to carry our PCs around the houses. We'd connect up to their network and play first-person shooter games. And honestly, adult beverages were consumed. So, yeah. Uh, noise is, is, is a con. At high speeds, it can get noisy. The, the truth here is that it probably won't be an issue for you uh, as typically fast movements would be in a situation where there isn't any audio needed. Uh, I, I've used it to change angles quickly uh, on, on a scene using a tiny crew. Well, and it just kind of requires a little bit of planning on the dialogue and, and the movement of that shot to pull it off. But you can, you can do it. Uh, normal, you know, slow moves, it's, it's pretty quiet. Uh, pros, well, it's fast. It's really fast. And with the heavy payload as well, this is really class leading. The expandability of it is truly unmatched. There are many companies out there selling all kinds of motion control that can work with their other parts, but they lack one important thing, flexibility in controlling and programming. That's where the chaos software really shines. The ability to program moves, create a new move, create four more moves, and then come back and replay the first move. Well, that's pure power. It means on a food shoot, you can program most of your moves at the beginning of the day and then just recall them when you need them. When they're ready for this shot, bring it back over to that one. When you're ready for this one, come over there for that one. That's amazingly good and such a time saver. Now, another pro is the repeatability. This is something that, that those string powered units and several other brands have a real problem with. Some of them get it right, 
and I'm, I'm fair out there. There's, there's several brands that can do repeatability really well. The City Shooter is basically 100% repeatable. It's probably more like 99.999 because technically you could have error in there, but it's really repeatable. That paint pouring shot was done, repeated over and over and over with the probe lens on there while I just swapped out the cups and I kept pouring, kept pouring. It tracks perfectly. In fact, the only problem you'll run into is if you bump your Franken rig right after the first move, Si. That never happened. You didn't ever notice that in any of those shots. Um, yeah, so there is so much to love with Cine Shooter. I can't really say enough good things about it. It may sound like I'm biased. I mean, I am a little because, well, frankly, the Kessler systems have created an entire income stream for me with motion control shots over the years. I've been using their gear for six plus years now, and I absolutely love it. The company themselves and the people that work there are just simply the best. They care about what they do, they care about each other, and they love seeing that something that they built gets used to fulfill someone else's creative vision. It honestly has been one of the biggest parts over the years for me. When I have feedback, they always listen. They don't always make the changes, but more times than I can remember, my changes and thoughts and concerns do actually get addressed. It ultimately makes for a better product for everyone. And it's not just me. So many others have reached out to Kessler with thoughts and, well, magically, if it fits, they make it happen. Kessler is a prime example of a company, a brand, that I love using and working with. And well, let me repeat, Cine Shooter was sent to me, but almost everything else I bought with my own money starting six years ago. The bias I have was earned. It was earned with years of respect and years of continuous usage. I mean, here's my original second shooter. I upgraded to the second shooter plus, got the second shooter pro. I mean, it's been years and years before this, it was the, uh, the original manual drive. I love the Kessler ecosystem. So if you're looking to add motion to your shots, or you're looking to kind of take your motion to the next level with some speed or some enhanced payloads or just some additional access. I can honestly say that you should look very closely at the Kessler Cine Shooter. The movement it can do is basically only limited by your imagination. Well, there's, I mean, physics, but I mean, physics. Get out there and create something amazing. I mean, honestly. That's what their stuff and their tools really help. What do you think the coolest feature on the Cine Shooter is? Are, are you going to go get one? Leave a comment down below and tell me what you like about it. Tell me, tell me what you think about it. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down below. I try to read and respond to each and every one, even if it's just to say thank you. Remember to give this a big thumbs up because you loved it. You can give me a thumbs down if you want. I mean, we can still be friends. I just feel like, you know. We, we've been through so much together, maybe a thumbs up, but you know. Anyway. Also click the subscribe button and then uh, right next to the alert bell, just go ahead and choose all alerts because the live streams, they're coming back really, really, really soon. Really soon, really soon. And uh, yeah, you can also support me with any of the affiliate links down below or PayPal, or you can even join the channel membership below. There's lots of behind the scenes stuff that's been coming out. Um, yeah. There's, there's a lot you can do to be a part of this community and to support me in all these wonderful ways. But as always, as I like to leave it, don't let your passions center around your life. Let your life center around your passions. <music>